Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. My YouTube channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. My DTube channel is at smarturl.it forward slash the Saint Country Club. My dlive.io channel is at smarturl.it forward slash go pass me some exams. You can find information about the online seminars for exams PEFM, IFM, and LTAM that I run at this site, and then uh, the manuals that I wrote for exams PEFM, IFM, and LTAM. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to make a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today. For exam P, an auto insurance company insures an automobile worth 15000 for one year under a policy with 1000 deductible. During the policy year, there is a 0.04 chance of partial damage to the car and 0.02 chance of total loss of the car. If there is partial damage to the car, the amount X of damage in thousands follows a distribution with density function equal to uh, 0.5003 times e to the X over 2 for X between 0 and 15 and 0 otherwise. What is the expected claim payment. Well, let Y denote the claim payment made by the insurance company in thousands. As the policy has a deductible of 1,000, the claim payment is 0 when there's no damage and then happens with probability 0.94 which is 1 minus 0.04 minus 0.02 and then it's the maximum of 0 and X minus 1 when X is between 0 and 15,000 with probability 0.04 and 14 in the case of total loss with probability 0.02. Not 15, the loss is 15,000, but the payment is 14 because there's a deductible of 1, 1,000. And based on this, the expected value of this random variable is calculated as follows. So the expected value is 0.94 times 0, probability of having 0, claim payment times 0.94, which is the probability, 0 is the amount and 0.94 is the probability, plus 0.04 times, um, it'll go from 0 to 1 of 0, which is the payment if the claim is under the deductible of 1, uh, times the probability density function in this case, plus the integral from 1 to 15 of x minus 1 times the density of point. Uh, 5003 times e to the x over 2 dx plus 0 0.02, the probability of that, of uh, times 14, which is the amount paid if the loss is total. And uh, then we, uh, if we multiply, so all the terms with zero, the first two terms, we really disappear and we look only at uh, the uh, integrals that we. Um, have uh, as a result. Uh, and I also express this x minus 1 uh, times the density as x times the density minus 1 times the density. So that's why it becomes a difference of two integrals. Um, and point of 0.04 times point, uh, 0.5003, um, if we multiply it out, it becomes 0.020012. So that's multiplied by integral from 1 to 15 of x e to the x over 2 dx minus the integral from 1 to 15 of e to the minus x over 2 dx. And 0.28 is 0.02 times 14. The first of the two integrals, it's a little bit more complicated. We need to do integration by parts in it, so we do that. We take one function u to be x and then du is dx. And then the other function, v, has to be such that dv is equal to what we see there, multiplied by x, which is e to the minus x over 2 dx. And of course, the function whose derivative is equal to this is minus 2 uh, times e to the minus x over 2. 
So we do this integ integration by parts in the first integral, and what do we get? Well, we get that coefficient of 0 0.020012 in front of the um, difference of the integrals, um, and uh, we end up with uh, the expression of minus 2x e to the uh, minus x over 2 evaluated from uh, 1 to um, 15, which is just uh, u times v, um, minus minus, so plus, uh, two integrals from 1 to 15 of e to the minus x over 2 dx, and then the last piece from the previous expression, the second integral and parentheses, is integral from 1 to 15 of e to the minus x over 2 dx. Um, but of course, if you subtract two integrals, or if you subtract one integral from two integrals, you just would get one integral. So this becomes... Um, uh, 0 0.020012 0 times, and that um, uv evaluated from uh, the two ends is uh, ends up being uh, minus 30 e to the minus 7.5 plus 2 e to the minus 0.5, and then plus that integral from 1 to 15 of e to the minus x over 2 dx, and then plus 0.28 at the end. Okay, so what's the function whose uh, derivative is e to the minus x over 2? It's minus 2 times e to the minus x over 2. We evaluate from 1 to 15. And we get uh, the expression that you see here. And uh, then we just need to calculate all that. It's a little bit of work, but uh, this ends up being 0.32819738 approximately. Now that answer is in thousands, so since this is e of y expressed in thousands, the expected claim payment is approximately 328, which is answer b. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself comes from a society of actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.